Every day I'm shuffling. Howdy folks, my name is Richie aka Bogadar and I'm back with a Guild Wars 2 gold making quickie. Today I'm going to be going over some of the features of the trading post and just showing a little uh, a little bit of what I do to make some extra silver here and there. Um, this is not the most efficient way to make gold or anything like that, but it is a way that if you just want to sit in town or hang around at the trading post and do some trades, you can actually buy some things and resell them for a small profit. So this is something I like to do when I have uh, a, 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 a spare few minutes to, you know, just sit around in the town. I don't want to actually go, I don't have the time to go run a dungeon or do champion farming or something like that. So I can just sit in front of the auction house here and uh, play some bids. So, um... Basically, you know, if you're a veteran player, you already know all about this stuff like that. But I, I'm speaking more to players that haven't done much in the trading post or, or don't know what to expect. Now, the um, the one the one feature that we're going to be looking at is how to place a buy order rather than just buying the most expensive item in the list. For example, let me see if there's a good example here. Let's say uh, or a calcum ore. Let's say I need one of these. You don't want to come right in unless you need it right away. Obviously, if you need it right away, you're going to come right in here and you're going to buy it for five silver, forty four copper. But if you place a custom order by clicking this, you can see I can get it for 5 silver and 10 copper, which is cheaper. But I do have to wait for somebody to fill that order. These these are the uh, buy orders here. And I would probably put in, you know, 5 silver here and then 11. So I could be the, the top bidder here. And I could say that I would need 10 or however many I need. And then I'm going to wait. And assuming somebody actually accepts that order, then uh, I will actually sell it. And I, I will actually purchase it for a reduced price. Uh, over this now you can kind of use that to your advantage by buying some items and uh, reposting them for a profit now the trick to this is when you uh, actually post something to the trading post you pay a fee a five percent fee of the asking price uh, to the trading post that just you won't get back and if it if the item is sell sold you actually get taxed ten percent uh, when, when it's actually sold. So overall, you have to make sure that you're getting a, uh, a margin of at least 15%. And I'll show you how to, how to kind of uh, do that. Now, one of the items that I regularly uh, purchase... Who is dying in the background? Somebody is like making puking sounds in the background of this video. So we're trying to do math and learn here, people. This is not the time to vomit. All right, so one of the items, one of the commodities that I uh, tend to, to, to do this uh, procedure with are dyes. Now, this also works for like mini pets, um, some consumables, um, even some crafting materials. Anything uh, that really gets traded very frequently works uh, fine for this. But dyes, I, I, I actually enjoy... Uh, trading. Let's uh, let's use a one silver uh, example because that's actually easy math here. So let's say I want to buy the cantaloupe dye and resell it. So uh, the one thing you have to check first is is there enough margin in this to make it worth it. So if I if I buy this uh, item for eighty copper and post it up and sell it with the fifteen percent fees. Uh, do I make it back if I sell it for one silver or, or 99 copper? And the answer is yes, right? Because this is easy math here. You're going to basically uh, multiply the price you're going to sell it for by 0.85. And we're going to get, uh, uh, so 0.85 would be 85 copper. So you can see I would make about, this guy's puking over here. I can't believe this. Please, am I in overflow? No. Black 8 represent with the puking. Thank you. Thank you. Try to make video here. All right, so as I was saying, 85 copper is certainly more than the 80 I'm paying. So I would make about five copper per cantaloupe die that I that I flip like this. So this is not a great margin, but you can see I would actually make money. If it was over 85 copper uh, to purchase this, then I wouldn't make any money at all. It would be a losing proposition. So um, I'm not going to actually do this die. You can start cheap if you really uh, don't have that much disposable income. I, I'm at the point where I go up to around, I, I don't know, a couple... The gold items, the rarer dyes, I actually trade uh, quite frequently. You can see here. All right, so let's get an example going. That's a little bit in the rare section. Um, pumpkin dye. That's what. Let's see what the. Let's see what the results are here. So, uh, right now they are selling for forty-one seventy-four. And if I do the math on that real quick, it's going to be. I need to make about thirty-five. Uh, I have to sell this for around thirty-five because that's 0.85 or lower. And actually uh, get this. So you can see 30 silver. I can actually purchase this for 30 silver. I'll make 
about 35 silver on a resell if I'm getting this price here. So uh, yeah, I would make about five silver there. So what I can do is uh, I will put in a buy order and I'm gonna just do one greater, one copper greater than the, the previous order. And I could do one or two of these at a time, however many you feel like putting out there. I, I tend not to do a lot of one color die because it's harder to sell. I, I do a lot of different dies at the same time. So I'll place this buy order. And again, this is not going to uh, uh, appear right away, but let's uh, let's go place a couple more uh, you know, orders here. Let's see what the amber die is. Amber die. Amber die starts at, what was it again? 44.90, right? I've got a little calculator here to help with the math. You know, math is hard. All right, so uh, 38. I could sell this for about 38.16. And uh, yeah, I would make a little bit of a profit here. So we'll go for this and we'll put in a two. I'm just going to buy one of those. All right. And you can actually like look around if you're patient. You could find ones that, you know, at the at a particular moment that have a really good uh, kind of yield to it. So, you know, let's see a, a silver die. All right. So look at this one. Um, this one sells oh, silver. It is... Uh, Let's see, we got one gold, 39. And so we can actually sell this for a gold. We'll get about a gold, 18 out of it. So if I buy this for 95 silver, I can I can make, you know, quite a bit of, of silver there for that. So let's buy uh, one of these. We'll put the order in at least, and we'll place the order. Okay, so what I do is I'll go through this. I'll do like 10 or 15... Um, iterations of uh different dies i just i just find ones that are going really well if you want to go you know the higher up you go the the larger the margins are but it's also more risky these 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 dies uh trade quite frequently you can see here you know you can place the order in and uh you know if you if you're able to catch it at the right time you can actually make a couple gold here and there but they take a while to sell at that price you know the the cheaper things sell quicker but you make less margin so it's all about you know weighing the risks uh, of of these things and whatnot. So I'm going to go down to some of the cheaper ones and place a couple more um, buy orders here. This one looks pretty good. And hopefully we can get uh, one or two of these to, to actually bite and we'll pop up and we can repost and check you and show you, uh, you know, what the result is on that. So eucalyptus die. Eucalyptus. Look at this one. This one's selling for way less. Now, what you want to be careful, there's a couple things that you want to be wary of while we wait for these to come in. Um, you don't want to work, you don't want to do this with everything. You, you want it to be on uh, items that move frequently. Uh, for example, like these dyes, you know, they, they sell very good. But, but these unidentified, like green packages, are pretty expensive to make, and there's not usually a ton on there. Um, and they don't have a, a very good yield. Um, another one to kind of be wary of are any of these like um, equipment boxes, right? What are, what are those things called? Like a box of uh, hone scale armor, right? Something like this. You might look and go, oh my goodness, look at this. 17 silver. And look, I could sell it for two gold. Well, guess what? No one's really buying this. Nobody's buying it at this price. There are some available, but really, this is more what it's worth. So you'll buy a whole bunch of these uh, at a, a low price, and you'll try to sell it for two gold. And no, you're not gonna you're not gonna turn that kind of profit. So be wary of anything that may not sell very often, okay? Because you're gonna see a huge discrepancy between the buy order and the sell order. Um, and uh, you're not gonna you're not gonna make your money. So be careful of any any type of uh, item like that. So you want to do stuff that are safe. You know, dyes, um, mini pets, uh, consumables, things that you know that players buy on a regular basis. Okay, so I've gone ahead and, and looked through the list and I placed some orders. You can see the list of orders that I've placed right here. Um, some of them are, you know, pretty cheap. Some of them, I kind of like to go over the gold limit, uh, the ones I can sell back for over a gold. That's kind of where I find uh, the sweetest spot to be. So I've got the list here and now it's just a waiting game. I can go and, you know, cook dinner, have myself a Pop-Tart or something and uh, come back, you know, 15, 20 minutes later, and uh, hopefully some things will pop up here. I'll, so I'll check back with you in a couple minutes. All right, folks, I am back. You can see a couple hours have passed by the timestamp on the bottom right. I actually had to pick up my kids from the bus stop and stuff like that, but I'm going to check back up here, and I believe we've got some hits on what we were looking for. Oh, look here. We got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven of our buy orders were actually fulfilled. So what I do now is I take them out and go into my inventory screen. And I will put them back up on the trading post, but I am putting them at the uh, one copper less than the lowest seller. 
and then we'll make our uh, profit here and if these sell all right every once in a while I'll, I'll get it so that uh, one of these won't sell and I'll just take it down and repost it uh, for the current price if prices have dropped or I will uh, you know or I'll just leave it up there and sometimes you know the markets fluctuate and uh, it goes back to a point where you actually you know don't even have to do anything and it will actually sell for that price so this is um, I, I found dyes and the mini pets to be fairly reliable source of income. This uh, there's not much risk involved with um, the dyes of this kind. Now, if you go all the way to the top, where you got the, some of the rare ones that are worth you know 100 gold or you know 60 gold, 70 gold, there is risk there. I actually have um, dabbled a little bit in some like 30 and 40 gold dyes. Um, I have not been burnt by it, but it's also very scary to do. So please be cautioned. <laughs> you know, don't go, uh, don't go buying anything that is above your means that you uh, don't, you're not ready to actually. Uh, you know, if that fails, if that transaction fails, and you you can waste a lot of money uh, in in trading post fees by going that hard, far. So uh, there we go. Actually, I just made seventy silver. I wonder if that was items I've sold. Let's see. It's just updating. Oh, look! So we, we've we've actually sold. Okay, here it goes. We've sold the charcoal charcoal dye just a few seconds ago while I was posting this for the seventy seven ninety five. Now, if we check back, um, items I've bought on the charcoal dye, and we'll uh, see charcoal dye down here. Where is it? Oh, it's down here. Forty eight silver, and we sold it because I have a bad memory. For 77 silver so you know you again you got to take out the 15 percent so if that's not all profit but you could see you know how this can add up over time if you if you buy 10 dies or 15 dies in a day and resell them you know you can you can consistently add to your gold you know pretty passively it doesn't take a lot of time to actually do this so uh that's gonna wrap things up for this uh gold making quickie i hope you enjoyed the video if you did give it a like and help it uh you know get promoted on uh, youtube by liking and favoriting and commenting and all that good stuff and uh, subscribe to my youtube channel so you can be notified when future Future videos are released. I hope everybody has a fantastic day and I'll see you next time. Take care.